Hey, hey guys, welcome back. This is the Rusty Gear server <laughs> and I'm Hypnotic and I'm just super excited uh, because I've been playing for a couple of hours and I just got back from an epic trip. I'm so excited about it. This is episode two. I'm the only one on. Uh, I've been the only one on for a couple of hours and I've just been working on my little base here. So I wanted to catch you guys up a little bit. Um, I'm super excited. It's super fun. The fi my favorite part of Vintage Story is the beginning where you're surviving and like, uh, you know, just trying to make your place and gather things and learn your world and all of that. So um, what I, I'm going to show you what I did. This is my spot. This is my road all the way to the... Um, community center what i did is i went pretty much straight south i found you can see the trail of um traders man i can't talk tonight the trail of traders that i found and then i went over here and you guys uh i found lime and chalk down here that's supposed to say random it says random uh this is a stunningly beautiful jungle as is this it's this is smaller but it's beautiful there's bamboo green and brown and um this is a shale over here and redwoods and lime 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 so this is awesome i will let my crew know that that's there because obviously you need lime for um backpacks so I'm going to get started on that right now but I wanted to show you also what I got I got some crotons I got some bamboo I brought back some chalk and limestone so there's limestone and chalk and then I got seeds I got a few berry bushes and I got trees I got nine pomegranate trees I got seven olive trees and I got five breadfruit now I don't know whether I'm going to be able to grow this stuff here or not but it's pretty amazing. I got a red Rafelja, I think is how you say it, and two brown ones. And, oh, there's another thing. And I got some more flowers and berry bushes. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this out. So I'm going to show you around here a little bit, I guess, before. since. So this is the very bottom of my, what's going to be like a cliff, cliff dwelling. And I've organized it a little bit. So I have my own little place. I do have uh, my own candles because I have my bees. And then this is the beginning of it. So the plan is, these are some trees that I, these are pomegranates and olives, but the plan is to have uh, this acacia wood mixed in with different faces on this wall. And I'll figure out the inside as I go. The mountain is going to talk to me. I'm going to listen to the mountain. So I know I'm going to have a face right here. I'll probably have like tanning and things like that in there. I know I'm going to have a face up here. And what I mean by face is like windows and an entry. You can see I could start carving in there, a face right here. I know I'm gonna have a deck right across here. It's gonna go across the waterfall. I know that seems a little sacrilege, but I want um, the deck because the sunset is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So this is the beginning of my work. Um, I'm gonna put these berry bushes just down along this path. I only got three um, and I'm going to go leave a present um, for Ash Ashanton because I know she absolutely loves these crotons. So I got her a couple extra. I'm not going to give her all of them because uh, I absolutely love them too. But I am going to go sneak um, some of those to her. Um, I'm going to put in a couple of these other things. Uh, from my box but I have a lantern and that's because I have my bees I'm going to change out my torches really quick and I also gave um, Nathan a lantern because I was able to make two and he was on <laughs> when I made one so I made Nathan a lantern as well Nathan Wastrel okay so let's do that and then um, let's walk in the dark I'm going to go drop this off but I did finish um, my, well, I didn't finish it. Let's grab the, um, the roads. I do have this amount of roads. And when I come back, I'm going to start some leather. Um, here. This is where I've got patches 
Oh, I got some bamboo because I thought bamboo floors. I love bamboo floors and I don't have any food. Shoot, do I have any? Does my food on me? No, I set it down. So we'll go see if there's any in the community center. If not, maybe I'll make some. I did do more charcoal in there. I'm going to try to help out on the community side as much as I can. And I will probably go check the gardens to see how they're doing. Um, but I'm just going to fill in this road. Man, making roads is just not something I enjoy. Um, it takes a long time and a lot of material. But um, I'm close to having it done. So Shanton and Andy Days have built a little house over here. Um, right along, right where Spawn is. So my charcoal pit is done. And then I will check this garden. It looks like it's done too. Yeah, see, I'm starving. So I'm going to run up and see if there's any food. So we ha really haven't done anything else to the um, community center. It's pretty much exactly the same. But there is some food in here. So I'm going to grab that, put that down, and have some of this. I'm going to eat some. And then take another one. Oh, well, that looks like it's about it. So I guess I'm going to have to do some cooking here. I don't know that there's a lot of food. There's a lot of green. Rot. I'll be able to cook something. I'll do that in just a few minutes. But right now I'm just going to go deliver these flowers. So they are over here, right at spawn. I don't think they have a road yet, and they've just built a little house. I'm not going to go in. I'm just going to deliver these flowers to right at the front um, as a little surprise. So here is their place. Do they have a door? There's the door. So I'm going to put one right there, and I'm going to put one right there. And that should be a nice surprise for them, because I know she likes those croutons. OK, um, I'm glad that you guys are joining me. Rusty Gears has been a lot of fun so far. Like I said, I always love the beginning of the games. Um, I love the survival aspect and the exploration. So I'm going to go do the garden and make some food, and I will see you guys soon. On When I do something, uh, I think I'm going to work on, uh, probably work on my base a little bit, and I'm going to get um, some leather going. See you then. Well, guys, I found some brown coal, so I'm just grabbing it. It's just the next day I just uh, did the garden over at the community center and then I um, made uh, three pots of food and put them in the vessels in the cellar. So if, when, if people come on, they'll have them ready to go. And um, now I'm just getting tin and coal and copper. I got a, I have a box on my back and I did find a tiny bit of tin. It was the one that I found up on the hill behind my house. And then I am good. I found ran across this coal while I was um, looking for copper. There is some lead over here too somewhere. I'm wondering if I'm going to run into it. I thought it was kind of over here. My pickaxe is about to die, so I might not be able to finish. Um, but I did see that there was lead. Um, I am going to just do Molly, Molly de Chaco's lanterns again. And I did run into silver when I was doing, uh, taking that little mountain down in the front of my house. So I will be able to make a bright Molly here too, which is going to be nice. Well, guys, I'm at the community center and I just got myself set up with 700 units of tin bronze. And what I'm going to make with that is a hammer because I only have this copper hammer and it's halfway dead. I broke my pickaxe. I don't have a good axe, so I have a pickaxe. I'm going to make two pickaxes, a shovel, an axe, and a pro pick. And then I'm going to make myself, I have a tin bronze uh, saw, but I'm going to make myself a chisel. So I'm going to pour myself an ingot.
Well, here I am in the Redwoods. What I have decided is that it is too hot at my place in order to farm. Um, we decided to start with a hot environment, well, not hot, but warmer environment. And uh, it's too warm for me to grow my crops. So I'm hanging out over here for the day to kind of just see how things go and what it's what the temperature is going to get like here. Um, because I'm not exactly too far from my base, but I do think that I'm going to set up um, a farm somewhere else. I could go down here and look as well. I'm just kind of um, wandering around a little bit. Here's a little flat spot. I'm going to just kind of wander around a little bit and collect some pretties and some things that I need at the base. Um, I always need vines and vine tips and things like that for decorating. So I thought I would just hang out and do that kind of stuff. So it's 38 degrees now. I mean, that's still pretty warm. Let's go south and look at um, look at it there. I want to go in the south redwoods. And maybe, ooh, that looks a little like a meteor, doesn't it? Okay, well, it's definitely not a meteor. But while we're down here, let's get a sample because I was a good girl and did bring my prospecting pick. And I did check out, let's see, seven and then the map. I did check out this area. So I'm gonna slowly start prospecting around here for um, obviously I need iron. And I'm not expecting to find iron anytime soon, but I'm figured if I'm learning this prospecting pick. I'm gonna I might as well try to get good at it. Let's do another one here. Native copper. High native copper. Well that's good to know. Well I just passed that copper thing over there. Uh, coal. Okay. I'm just going to do this every now and then, but let's head south to... I'm not going to do it in a grid pattern like I did before. I still want to pay attention to the temperature. We're at 37. It's pretty warm. We have a patchy environment here. I'm, you know, I'm wondering, like a little hole like that. Let's go over and just look at it. We're in a patchy environment. We don't have the, the real life um, kind of north is cold, south is warmer um, thing. So uh, I have to find a place. I'm living in the desert basically in the um, acacia forest, which is very high heat. Um, I got hit by a couple of uh, hyenas is why I'm so hurt. Um, so here look at this little dip let's look in here because this would be a beautiful little place to garden i would think it's a little hole down here see we're it's hot here it's 40 degrees yeah it's 40 degrees and so i want to stay to where i can put an actual road in be maybe if i let's go look at these redwoods there's copper everywhere I'm still going to be on the lookout for seeds. I do have about 50 um, flax seeds already, but I don't have any place to plant them yet. So that's my problem. And I'm always wanting berry bushes, because you know me. Need to make some brandy. That's eventual. <laughs> Okay, my knife just died. I'm getting vines. I'm going to have to make a new knife. Uh, are we on the track for those redwoods? No, we need to go this way. Oh, there they are. They're over on a hill. Maybe that is key. This looks like a couple of... I don't have my lantern with me. I just have a couple of torches. But this looks like a good cave to eventually explore. And there as well. I thought the redwoods were a little cooler. I mean, in my redwoods, in my place, um, on my single player game, I, I can pretty much, you know, grow anything all year. 
38. Okay, we're definitely cooler here. And it's in the afternoon. Okay, I think that I'm going to garden right here. Look, I can make beautiful little terraced gardens in between. I think that was a that's a great idea. Yeah, I really like it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I will mark this little space right here in between these garden. And I'm going to mark it red for now with just with a... Oh, let's mark it. I wish we had... Let's mark it with a star. Okay, now I just have to figure out the best way home. So I'm going to do that. And then I want to show you guys what I've done over there. Well, I'm back home. Um, I found a way that I think that's going to work pretty good. Um, I think that if I, let me get my stuff together here. I think that my road is right here. So um, there's the pigs and this is the road, the community center uh, come through here. I found all this lead, I found um, fire clay and everything. If I came through kind of like this, I can pretty much do a straight shot mm, like this, pretty much do a straight shot. There's a cut through, through the mountain right there. So it's like perfect. I don't have to go over or under a mountain and then over to this. It, I mean, it couldn't be, it's gonna take some time to do a road. But you know what I thought of when I was just kind of coming through here? Why haven't I ever considered an underground farm? I need to look at that before I did make the decision because in here, in our, this server, underground farming is allowed. So I'm going to look that up before I make any decisions, but I'm home. And so I wanted to show you my what I've been working on. My bamboo has grown up. Oh my God. When I just left, it wasn't grown up yet. So I put some bamboo down and this is what I've been working on. So this is my cliff dwelling thing. I think the last time I had this done, but in working on this, I don't remember. I'll, I'll notice on the video I did. And you know, things pass. So I did um, some ingot molds and some regular molds, just a couple, because there's a lot down at the community center I can use. Um, but I think this is looking really nice so far. I'm trying to decide what room is going to be what. And right now I'm just listening to the mountain and doing what the, you know, what the mountain will allow me. The biggest problem right now is I was thinking, let me show you what I've done. This is left the door open. What kind of blueberry bush? What kind of bush is this? This is cranberry. I'm trying to, I don't have a lot of cranberry bushes. I'll just put the cranberry bushes right here for now. Um, so this is my little hovel. I put my only lantern up in here, uh, and I'm just is just a workroom for now. But I do, and I do think this is probably going to stay a workroom. I think this might be the leather where I do leather and you know barrels and things like that. I'm not sure. Uh, I yeah, I haven't really decided yet. But here um, is the main entrance. Um, I have a glitch, something going on. Let me put some stuff away so I can show you what this glitch is. Let me put um, these away in there. I've got, I think I got other flowers in here. I can add those in there. I can add those in there. I don't have a place for ferns yet because I just want to show you. Here's red currant bushes. I'll put those away and I'll set my food down. I did make myself a tin bronze an anvil because I can go straight to that, so there was no worries. I am um, doing leather because I found that limestone and chalk. So, um, but I have this weird um, glitch, and I don't know whether this is a glitch or if this is this is what's happening. I've been trying to put these fences on these. These are quarried blocks. That's what happens. Weird, right? Uh, I guess my pickaxe pickaxe broke while I was out there. Um, I can, and then I can pick those blocks up, and they're struggling to go back on. I've never seen this before. I don't know if this is. So eventually they'll go on, like that. Maybe they need to be supported. 
I, I'm not sure, but I'd like to have fence going all the way up there. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll chisel it. But the bamboo looks really pretty there, I think. I might stick a couple more kind of back there. So anyway, this is the entryway. Um, I've carved out a little place for some candles and maybe some like cave dra drawings or something. And then this is, um, I think, going to be like just a living area. My torches all went out. You can no longer relight these, so I'm sorry it's so dark. Let's try just for shits and giggles. No. Okay, so this I think is going to be kind of a living area. Um, and then I'm going to have a deck that goes off this way because the sunset view is gorgeous. I'm going to have a deck that goes off this way kind of around the waterfall. I'll kind of probably chisel something to make the waterfall make it kind of look pretty and then have a deck right here. So, and then of course I have this deck out here. Kind of just more as a passageway and I'll put some pots and stuff over here. This area right here, this is the entrance to I th what I think I'm going to be doing as the forge. But I do have more mountain back there, but I kind of like the idea of, of um, putting the windmills up here. Uh, Ashanton wants to sleep. So let me, let me do that. Uh, we're kind of sleeping through some nights to make it a little easier and lighter, and that would be perfect. So let me get back with you when we're done sleeping. Okay. Um, I'm very hungry this morning. There we go. Okay, let's get back to this tour. So, uh, forge. What I was planning on doing is I've opened this up and I was planning on doing the forge here, but as you can see, the mountain is a little skinny right here. It does go out right there, but it's a little skinny. I was going to do a tiny little porch here, just a tiny little lookout porch, just probably only two more blocks out this way and then the red fence, but I don't have any more quarried block right now. And I do like the look of the quarried block. I tried this with cobblestone and I didn't like it. Um, so what I was thinking about doing is just building a brick, like, outcrop here. You know, making this square with bricks so it's, like, sticking out. Or maybe... Let's see what it looks like down below. I've taken a lot of the dirt out. Ah, that's gonna hurt. Um, but I think that would look okay if I just had part of the building kind of sticking out. And I was thinking of church stone bricks because we have a lot of church stone oh ash just died oh um and then maybe continuing over here but i do think that windmills at the top of this could look really cool the other thing i could do is i think the mountain is maybe I'll try to dig in there a little bit, is make my forge right here. I could move the bees. I know this is pretty. And make another front right here. Make my forge and then have just this be kind of a way up to the windmills. This doesn't have to be my forge. I could use my... And I could do storage up there. I could do my forge here. I think it might be... Um, it might be wide enough, and I could actually quarry rock enough to make it look like this is the mountain out here. So I might work on that next. Um, but right now I'm going to get some fire bricks going so I can start some glass. Well, I've taken care of the fire bricks. They're actually um, done as well because I um, went to make a garden. So I have fire bricks and I made glass already. So here is my leaded windows um, i did leaded windows in these areas and i really like the way that looks um, i think that looks really good i'm i'm still trying to decide if i want more of them i did already use 24 let me show you upstairs um, right here is a big window and then there's uh, some little windows over here but you guys, I'm, I'm still really struggling to sleep. 
Um, so I look at that sunset. Now this is, this is why, look at that. It's gorgeous. Some of the colors I get here are amazing, but I am really struggling to sleep. I have had very, very little sleep in the last couple weeks. And, um, I had, I know what I'm going to do in here because I stayed up thinking about it. So, um, I've kind of probably already ruined this side by taking too much out, but I, th I think this will work. Um, but what I'm going to do is this is going to be kind of like a foyer. There you walk in, in either side. I'm going to even this out so this one is as big as this one right here. So this face. So this is one, two, three wide at the top. So I'm going to make this go up one more. Um, on this side and even it out and then open this up one more to make this look like this one. Then I am going to um, cut out this wall. I'm going to come back a certain amount and I'm going to do a big sunken in kind of place to sit. Um, I think it's going to look really cool and it's really hard to explain. But um, then what I'm going to do is the kitchen is going to be in that wall, behind that wall back there, the kitchen. So you're going to walk here and go back behind the waterfall. And I'm going to put just natural windows in along here. So I'm probably going to have to take a, a little bit of this block out um, and then have like a little arched door here without a, a regular wooden door. And then a little window over there that I can op open up and set food in and stuff because this will be a deck. So this will be the little sunset party deck with access to the kitchen. So, um, and then I'm going to also look at, I just logged on after not sleeping all night. I am going to make an entrance right here to the forge. So I don't have to make a door here. So I can just make like maybe a stained glass right here or something. So this can be just a pretty faceplate um, for the build. So those are my plans. I did make a garden and planted all the seed um, right there. So um, I'm going to get to work. And I'll catch up with you after a few minutes. Well, it's the evening and I have decided to chisel myself a table. Um, I am the only one on and um, I am going to go ahead and just spend a few minutes chiseling. I just started with an ebony. Okay, so maybe I didn't say, I don't remember. These are going to, these, I made the leaded windows out of ebony. I went and got one ebony tree and I did end up getting two ebony seeds. So I will replace those, of course. But what I want to do is I want to make a table, just a pretty little table. I don't want it to be, um, oops, I don't want it to be too modern, but I do want it to, um, I want it to be somewhat modern table, but I'm going to make everything, I'm going to try to make everything look as pretty as possible. I did do another table kind of like this at some point. I don't remember um, when, but I think it was at uh, Castle del Norte on my single player. So I'm just going to chisel away at this a little bit um, just to make a little table because I'm going to be putting these around in some places. Let's just spin it because we're going to have tables inside the little sunken air sitting area. And I thought I would just bring you on while I chisel this. Okay, so those are all done. So let's um, let's take these out. I just poured myself a new um, tin bronze pickaxe and the problem with that is I'm out of tin bronze now other than the ingots that I made. So I'm going to have to go get more tin 
I don't know that I have any marks, so that's going to be a little bit of a search. Okay, so I think I'm going to take these legs down a little bit more. This is going to be a very simple little table. Nothing fancy. Let's see, I'm going to leave that there for a minute. I'm going to take these legs down a little bit more. I don't like the way that's looking now, though. Maybe I could take this one down. Take that one down. Oh, I did. That, I took that one down wrong. Wow, did you see the lighting change just now? This is going to make it very hard for me to finish this chiseling on this dark wood. I guess I could do one more bigger one here to get rid of some of this. Okay. Yeah, I want to go down to even with that one. I think that looks better. And then we'll take that out. This out and that out. Now we should be fairly even except for I need to put these back. And then let's flip this thing and do that on this other side. Just got up, guys, and um, started my day. Didn't sleep. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, my shoulder just really hurts when I'm laying down. So it's making me pretty zombie-like, actually. Um, my brain is feeling a little more accomplished again. Like... Okay, I really like that. It's very simple, but here now what I'm going to do is take the top off. Actually, I'm going to leave this edge. And I'm going to take out the middle. Like this. Just trying to work through the night find something to do instead of sleep and it looks like sun's going to be coming up soon because it's summertime and it's three so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this red oh look that's really not that much of a difference it is brighter though hmm the difference between that acacia and this ebony isn't as much as I expected. Okay, well, I will be back with you when I get this the rest of this filled in because I plan on embellishing a little bit more. Okay, I'm not sure I'm completely happy with that. Let's try something here. Let's try what it would look like if, if I just added um, a stripe of the... Um, the red down the legs. Nope, I don't like that. Uh, maybe if I replace this one. Now that is okay, I think. And then maybe what I'll do, one, two, three. Oh, these sides aren't the same. Well, I just... Need to get that out of there on that side. That was the only side that I messed up, but I do like that down the leg. And then maybe I should do something along like this. Um, um, I could do a little bit of red in here. Um, not... Let's see. 
just to add a little bit more touch. I don't know whether that's as obvious as it should be, but I'm not worried about it right now. These are gonna be very simple tables and I only want one, I'm not gonna copy it. And you guys know me, I will sit with it and live with it and change it until I think it's fine. So I think that's a really cute little table. It kind of looks um, mountainy, which is good because we're living in a mountain. Um, there and there. And then I will finish this and I will show you where I'm going to put it for now. Okay, I'm going to take that down and we're going to go right up here. This is going to be my first official piece of furniture. And the other thing I'm going to try is because I've died twice, I am going to put that there and I'm going to put the candles back on it. The other thing I'm going to try is I don't know whether I can use... Let's go get the black coal just in case. Um, I haven't done this in a while. Maybe we should test this on somewhere that doesn't matter. Because I don't remember how to do this. Let's test it right here. So I think you hold down... I'm trying to do the cave drawing. Maybe I can't do it with this kind of charcoal. I was going to keep track of my deaths, but it doesn't look like I can do, do it with this kind of charcoal. So never mind on that. The other thing I did do, though, was make some chert bricks. I mean, uh, tiles. And I wanted to see what they looked like against the um, ebony. I had the... Wow. Uh, against the this... I mean, that's a lot of red, but I think that using it in some areas would be really nice. Like that, like that little entryway. I think that looked nice. It kind of just adds a pop, maybe. And then I'll put some flowers, and I'm going to keep my death marker in here. <laughs> Two of those. So, okay, uh, next project. I'm going to just work on some things here with, and I'm going to keep you on. Let's go get... Um, Let's go get that one face um, evened out with the other one. I'm going to need another door, I think. I'm just going to grab the doors. And let's get this off my bar because I need food. Food has been an issue. Oh, good. I'm glad that's not rotten. Or at least I don't think it is. Okay, cool. We're good for a little while. That's really all my food. Okay, so this is going to be even with this. So we're going to, we're not, I don't have to take the whole thing down, but I'm going to take this out. So it was, it has two on that level. One on that level and one there. And let's start there and see what that does. So we're going to put um, that there. Can't get those. There we go. Two. Oops. One and three. Two, one, and three. And then one. Two. So I actually need to take this out. So that other one is, this one's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wide. Is this one nine wide? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wide. Okay, what am I missing? Oh, I have this one extended out one for the door. So that's fine. So that works, really. If I, if I pop that one out, because then they both be a little oblong, a little off on one side, which I want this to be symmetrical. These may be off a little bit on one side, but they're symmetrical with each other, little mirrors of each other. So that way it'll be nice and even in here. There we go. And then we're going to take this one out because I like the way that kind of looks like that. 
we're kind of going to leave some of the natural, like, cave-looking rocks in the corners and stuff. Okay, so now I need to think about... I don't know how to do this. We're... Okay, from right... One, two, three. And then we want that to be the wall from right here. So that is this one, two, three. And then we would dig this way and hopefully not break into the waterfall or the this will be an outside wall. So I'm going to dig in here a little bit. And then I'm going to quarry out a bunch of these rocks because I need them for the deck. But then what I'm going to do is I'll show you. I'm going to punch a hole for an, a chiseled arch door from the deck. Um, and then punch a hole for the a window. Um, so I actually just have some natural... Wow, that got dark, didn't it? Some natural windows just through... That worked out. Now... Um, let's go get my quarried rock. I don't have a lot of quarried rock right now. I did organize my inventory. I have 31. So that's not too many. Um, you can see I've been doing a lot of digging. I have a lot of rock. Um, I want to take that chest up here and just set it up here as well. So we have like a construction chest up here to dump some stuff. So now I can put a few of these out to do like a little bit of a, oh, a scaffolding. Dang it. These quarried rocks are expensive. Don't screw up like that hip. Okay, so I think I don't want to mess the waterfall up at all. But I think what I'm going to do is take these out right here. And this will be an arch door. So right now I should be busting through. Yeah. So this is going to be an arch door to the kitchen. And then Let's see if I can reach these. I don't want to go that close to the waterfall. I want to go right there. Okay, I'll probably chisel like a little fence or something around that. And then this is going to be the deck. It's going to go all the way over there. But now, um, that is inconvenient. Okay, what we're going to do is we are going to take out this other line right here. Because I want this to be, I want this to look even. This, a lot of this dirt along this hillside is going to come out too. Just like I did over on the other side. Um, but now I have... Um, a perfect area to be one away from the waterfall and to have a window here. So I'm going to chisel a window right here. It's probably only going to be too wide like that. And then this will be chiseled. I'll just keep those in place. And I want to really get the kitchen set up probably first because I need um, to get that work area out there uh, downstairs. Um, hey, why aren't I seeing my window? There it is. So this will be the extent of the kitchen. Let's go out and look up. Can I have a windmill up there? I could probably have a tiny little windmill up there for um, a quern. And I always want this to look a little bit natural, so I've kind of been shaping this a little bit. I think I'm going to take those out. I can always add quarried rock back, but um, I'm going to 
I'm trying to keep the mountain looking like a mountain, but kind of shape it as I go. There you go. That looks nice. Yeah. And then I'll do a fence. I might actually put rock right there and there. And do a fence. So something is really funky with that. So I'm going to have to fix these windows. I didn't think about that. So that would be one, two, one, two. That would be right here. Yeah, look at that view. That's what we're going to do. That's four wide. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to make more lead um, ingots. And that's no problem. I have a lot of lead and I have a lot of... Um, Uh, a lot of quartz, so it's easy to make more windows. So let's put these up there, and there we go. I'll need a couple windows there. Let's go down and look, see what that looks like. I know that the front of these isn't as obvious from way down here, because you can't See, you can't really see a lot of it. Whoa. Whoa, there was a rift right there. Didn't see it. Come on, breadfruit tree. My other tree died, so I put that there. Okay. Well, that, I'm, I'm, I'm getting happy with this. I think this is looking nice. Tell me what you guys think. I'm going to work on it slowly. And, um... Keep keep figuring it out. I'm wondering if that should go out more. I don't want this to take up too much space. Yeah, see, doesn't that look nice? So I think that um, I was thinking about trying to make an entrance right there to the forge too, but I don't think that will work because I don't think there's enough room between there. Nope, that won't work. So. Okay. Looking good so far. Well, I'm going to wrap up this episode just by showing you guys what I've been doing. It has been quite a bit of time um, passing on the server, but I'm not the only one on too. So remember that um, the server goes when anybody is on. I've had a fun day with Papa Cheddar today, and I had a great caving experience with Nathan last night that I will pop on the next episode. But I wanted to just update you guys with what I'm doing here. I'm starting to do um, this to go back toward the what I'm going to call the forge and it's going to go start in here so I'm going to have a little path I'm going to do some maybe kind of like cave little thing right here underneath these stairs um, I took down the weird blocks um, I have started to organize this a little bit and Nathan and I did go down into this cave so that will be the next episode I'll show you that it'll probably be a shorter episode of just him and I caving we had a lot of fun and um, I've been working here. So I have dug out more of the kitchen, finished this little porch, and put in some windows above there. Now it looks really beautiful when um, the sun is coming through them. Obviously this is like not anywhere near finished. And I just shoved a bunch of kitchen stuff in there. But that's a pretty nice little view there. So I'm going to show you. I had monsters here. I've been going through pickaxes like crazy. So I have done a couple things. You guys will probably notice this. This I think is amazing. I'm really looking forward to this. I am almost not wanting to show you just because I want it to be a surprise. But this is going to be a recessed sitting area. This is going to be stairs to get down in here. I'm going to chisel kind of lounges and put tables in the corner. I'm going to chisel a carpet in the middle and then have a table with, of course, booze on it. Um, but this is a skylight I did. I'm super excited about it. I have gone through so many pickaxes. It's crazy. But I did do a skylight. So there's at the top. And at the top, we're going to be able to go up there. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. But here's my um, kind of living space. This is going to be a fireplace right here. 
And then I don't know what's going to happen that way. This wall is going to stay for paintings and things like that. Um, something might happen this way too, like another little room, because I do believe we're on the edge of the mountain here. So we're going to be able to like put a room in here with maybe a view out the other side. But this is another big accomplishment I did. I put up a door here because it was blocking a stupid drifter. I have had a lot of problems with drifters. Um, and I've died multiple, multiple times since then. I'm not going to be able to keep... I've lost track of my deaths. I've lost track. So um, I made a spiral staircase. This is the other big thing. I've literally just been chewing away at this mountain to try to make it my home. Um, I'm seeing something a little weird right here. So it's not a lot of exciting stuff, but I, that needs to come out just because it's driving me crazy. So anyway, this is a spiral staircase. So I hope I don't make you sick, but obviously there's going to be some chiseling and some candles going on in here. Let's make you sick. Whoa. No, I don't want to do that to you. I'll go slow. So I put this rock here because the second story is either going to come out here or here one of these so this so you're going to be able to access all the stories here because right now i have the ground floor um i have the second floor which is what we were just walked on the third floor i guess would be this floor and then the rooftop garden is up here so this is eventual a lot of work but my spiral staircase goes all the way to the top of the mountain and that is what we were just looking at from the bottom so i'm going to be taking down this dirt to that level because that's that's just how it worked out <laughs> um and then this i'm gonna have part of this be granite so i can just put pots on like a big patio and part of it be like a garden now i do have a problem oops i do have a problem with this walnut tree um, i want to keep it but i'm going to have to uh lengthen it a little bit it's going to be too taller so i'll go get some walnut isn't that beautiful? And then um, I'm going to keep these oaks. I'll probably have to link that one too. And then, of course, this oak is going to stay. But I will make sure that they all look beautiful up here. And this will be a beautiful little garden and sitting place. Another, another beautiful view. Um, and the other thing you'll notice is I have chickens down there. I just spent the last day and a half in game or two days chasing down chickens to get them to go in there. So I have one rooster and two girls. So um, I will build a chicken coop soon. They do have food. They don't have nest boxes. That's how new it is. But I did want to show you um, my progress. I do also have, let's make you dizzy. I do also have a um, downstairs to this and it may not be safe because it's you know the catacombs of the build I did go down my workshop so far is right underneath this so I kind of went down to get to it and it's right here I have to still chisel this because I I mean get cut this out but it's right here and right here is a door so I am going to be making this opening this up in here to be more of a, a workroom, uh, potentially cellar. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I might come up with some more windows up higher in the kitchen, kind of depending on what I do with the, um, the above story. But there's my chickens and they're laying eggs. Oh, there must be a chickens out here somewhere. Because they're laying eggs out. Hmm. Chickens can't lay eggs outside the fence. Do they shoot them? Do they sh shoot lay eggs? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, guys. Um, just a quick... Um, I got a barrel of honey on my back. That's right. I forgot. Huh. So just a quick um, outro to show you guys everything that's been going on. This is a nice chill build video. I will also be doing this, like I said, uh, putting up the episode of Nathan and I caving. And maybe I'll show you my garden in the next episode as well. Um, I'm really glad you joined me. Thank you so much. And I will see you very, very soon. 
Uh, don't forget that you can um, still enter the contest for three vintage story keys, um, uh, game keys, and those will be given away on the 18th or 19th, whatever that Saturday is, guys. So I'm not looking at a calendar right now. So take care, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me, and I will see you soon.